Thank you for staying with us on the Joy News Prime. Back again with the sport. And in the last 10 minutes, we have another development with the communications director, the presidency of the Republic of Ghana, issuing a statement. Let's look at it now from Eugene Ahin. He says, the president of the Republic, Nana Adudankwa Ekufuado, this afternoon held a meeting with the Minister for Youth and Sports, the president of the GFA Normalization Committee, and the chair of the management committee of the senior national football team, the Black Stars. The meeting, a continuation of the regular meetings the president holds with them, discussed, amongst others, the preparations being made towards AFCON 2019 and how to end Ghana's AFCON trophy drought. President Ekufuado subsequently also spoke on the telephone with Asamoa Jan and informed him of the considerable national disquiet over his decision to retire from the Black Stars. The president urged him in the national interest to rescind his decision to retire from the Black Stars and make himself available for, like, for selection by coach Kwesi Apia. And per this, we have information that Asamwajan indeed will return to the Black Stars, even though yesterday by this time he had retired. We are expecting um, an announcement of sorts from one of the quarters that Asamwajan is coming back into the national team. We'll keep you updated as and when that happens. Meanwhile, sports journalists have been sharing their views on his res um, decision to retire from the national team. Unfortunate decision coming at a wrong time. Um, I didn't expect that to happen between um, Asamojan and his manager, Kosiapia. But I think that this is going to have a serious effect on the team during the tournament and beyond this tournament. Remember, uh, an incident happened in 92. And to date, we talk about the 92 incident, you know, which had to do with uh, who had to be the captain of our team. Uh, seriously, I feel sad. I feel that this incident is more than number 12, and people will continue to talk about it. The whole world, everybody is talking about it, and it is going to affect the Black Stars for a very, very long time. There are those who think that Asamojan could have exercised patience, had further discussions with um, his manager, but he feels that he's been stopped. Um, I also feel that uh, the, the, the discussion should have gone further. I expected it though, but the timing was wrong. And I was, I was saddened when I, I, I read the press release they brought out. And um, I read it thing carefully and I realized that it wasn't his own will. I mean, some, some forces or some circumstances compelled him to come out with that um, uh, release. And it's just rather unfortunate because I believe that he's done a lot for the national team. And um, we, if, we, if he has to leave us, there's not a way he should go. Um, it should be like um, uh, from his own world to retire from the Black Stars, go in peace, we celebrate him. Because, look, he's, he's the most celebrated player of our, our national team. He's the only player on the continent who has scored more goals at the world stage. So, I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't ignore him. He can't be ignored. Will he come back, though? We'll find out. Still on the AFCON 2019, the build-up is on. We have 31 days to the tournament, and today we've got to know that Ghana's Daniel Laie is part of the 56 referees selected to be officiating at the soccer, at the soccer showpiece. Twenty-seven center referees will be heading to Egypt for the 2019 Total African Cup of Nations. Ghana has just won representation in the passing of Daniel Laie. The 32-year-old officiated at the 2018 Cham Tournament and the 2017 Wafu Cup of Nations. In all, there will be 56 referees at the AFCON, with Egypt and Tunisia having the biggest representations of five personnel each. Algeria, Sudan, Senegal, Cameroon and Morocco will have three referees each in the competition. The referees were selected from 34 countries across the continent. Follow the hashtag JoyAfcon2019 on social media. Salam. Now to the Joy Sports Invitational. Countdowns everywhere, not the Afcon this time. We are having that event on the 25th of May. Team Gasson, producers of Cement, are eager to sweep trophies when the show comes to town. Gasson! Gasson! 
Gassem! Gassem! It's, it's the same Gassem, you know, 52 years, uh, we've been in the market selling cement, consistently quality, consistently quality cement, but in addition to that, we, we come together and when we go to the field, we just transfer what we know to be producing cement in the quality that we, we produce our cement with and transfer it to the field of play. And you have seen us in this for, for since it started and we, we've always been there. So you know what we'll say, all those of you who are running your mouth, keep running your mouth. Just run your mouth. We will come and just do the do, that's all. In fact, last year you guys showed us skills here that we thought we had never seen before. But Charlie, in the end... You want to ask Barcelona what happened to them when they choked against a certain Liverpool. In the game, sometimes you can be leading 3-0 and you can be beating 4-0. But you see, we never give up until the bones are rotten. That's the sport for now. You can get more on the situation with Asamoah Jan on um, the Hans Mensa Anders show at 10.30, the football show. Recap is that the director of communications at the presidency has put out a statement that essentially the president has spoken to members of the management committee of the Black Stars, Kwesiapia, and also spoken to Asamoah Jan on the phone and the... Captain has been in, the general captain, as it were, has been impressed upon to come back to the national team. We have information that Asamwajan will rescind his decision and come back. More later, I'm Gary Al Smith. <laughs> <laughs>